Hey guys, this is a continuation of January the 11th video. I just wanted to uh, drive around, oh, one light car coming right in the Walmart, right when I'm going out. Um, yeah, I've been having, I've been getting a lot of vehicular stalking and uh, street theater. Um, you know, I had a, and this is a fire truck in front of me, I think. No, it's just a fire association uh, sticker. But I've been getting a lot of gang stalking, um, you know, in street theater, uh, especially when I'm hurt. And I'm hurt very badly. I really need medical attention. I think a lot of y'all understand me, uh, you know, when I say that. And I just, I just don't go in. Um, I haven't even gone. I'm supposed to get a, and there's a one light right there. It's good to get the frequency of the vehicular stalking so y'all can see. It's very bad. I'm trying to stay calm, but it's uh, it's terrifying. I mean, I'll just admit it. It's uh, you know, it was like a trip to the mall, and I had I had a lot of good things happen in the mall. You know, like I actually you know I met a lot of people where it was like the uh, interactions were so good, and I felt good getting out. So I've been cooped up in my condo. You know, it, it's so big, and it's it's terrorism. It's like harassment put on us on target individuals so much that it is just going I've, I've heard other ladies say you know just going to the store is like a a huge thing um you know and i wasn't you know i'm never scared to go places but uh the fact that i kind of think wow you know i'm not going to have any positive interactions when i go out um you know it does keep me in um i don't i'm not scared to go out like i think anybody's going to hurt me but it is it's a, a bunch of people you know, um, kind of slithering around, and I, you know, this morning I was thinking, what are we becoming? I was thinking, you know, the hierarchy, basically, you know, no matter what the DOD thinks and third-party contractors and the people doing this, this is a foot in the door for genocide. I mean, they're taking out, um, enough of the percentage of the population, maybe like 2%, they're torturing them and, uh, murdering them. Um, and, I mean, this is just one angle, but it really is a, a foot in the door on population control. They're seeing how many people they can kill until people stand up and say no. Um, and, uh, and the fact that there's a small enough percentage of the population that can be secretly murdered without people uh, fighting back um, is sad. It's sad to me. It's, it's hard to know. But that's what they're doing. And I think they're, you know, purposely probably trying to grow this program and you know, up the percentage of the people being murdered in their homes um, to see, to see when people will react, to see how people will react, how much time it takes, um, you know, so, so they can do other things to us and see how, how, how big of a group they can kill um, or torture, rape, you know, um, before people start reacting to it. Um, you know, target individuals are reacting, a lot of non-TIs are helping us. Uh, but the whole population isn't stirring, you know, to 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 come save us. Um, you know, they're they're trying to deny it, or they're actually uh, getting involved on the other side and harassing us while we're being murdered. So that's that's a very sad, hard thing for me to take. Uh, a lot of times, I know it's hard for y'all to take, but I just, I do just want to say that that is an angle that I think the hierarchy, our oligarchy, is trying to take. I do want to say that's what I think that this, you know, this kind of stuff is rolling out on. You have a lot of good men in the Department of Defense. You have a lot of good men in every country. But when you have an old, we have an oligarchy. We have, uh, you know, we have somebody above our governments. They have the, they have money and pull. You know, I think ca Council on Foreign Relations is a big part of that. Um, you know, that they they kind of uh, they kind of direct a lot of politicians. Um, and a lot of things in our world, and you know, we we have somebody above our government um, who has money, and I think a lot of this stuff comes from them. There's a empty trailer over here. They do a lot of empty trailers right there. So I mean, it's just the the insanity of this is, uh, you know, if we if we had our senators and our representatives with full power, and it just ended with them. Um, and they were given, you know, at least some knowledge, and there's a one light SUV. They were given at least some knowledge about some of this stuff. They could cut it off at the pass, but there's a, there's a higher power there. And I ain't talking about God, not the good higher power. I'm talking about, you know, an oligarchy, uh, you know, a group of men and women who are above 
our government and every government. We, we do have that now. No matter how loosely knit it is, no matter how people don't know about it, it's not given um, visible power. It's not given visible power by the people and the population because they do incredibly evil things, um, you know, so they remain hidden. And that's why they do incredibly evil things, and that's, you know, you know why it, it, they do incredibly evil things so they want to remain hidden, and they remain hidden so they do incredibly evil things. And you can see that, that's, that's you know, that's the nature of gang stalking. That's the nature of, of this directed energy weapon program. It's hidden because it's going to do incredibly evil things that people will not approve of. And because it remains hidden, it does incredibly evil things. So it's kind of a two-way, um, it's kind of a two-way weird mirror where it's going to cycle out into worse and worse things because it's trying to. It's trying to do evil things, so it's going to do more evil things, and it's hidden, so it, in, by nature, by the very nature of being hidden, it's going to do very evil things. Um, I, I hope y'all understood where I was just going with that. Um, but, so we're fighting, I, 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 you know, I'm getting off onto negative things, I mean, like on the conference calls, so much stuff is getting done. Class action suit, um, you know, get on the calls, um, uh, Robert Duncan's experiment, Robert Duncan's new prototype to stop V2K. I still haven't signed up for that. I hope I don't miss it, but I'm, I told you on the last video I was going to sign up right after the video and I didn't. Um, I have been putting it off and I do think that is remote, uh, remote neural manipulation. I, I think they're remote neural manipulating my motivation a lot. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to kind of break out of that and, uh, and do useful things. Um, I'm also, you know, um, you know, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to give it all to God. Um, the universe does give me signals, like clear objective signals on this earth, you know, to keep going, um, to keep going, and that there is a force for good in this universe. There really is. Um, this, this, this world is not just do whatever you want. It's not just like, oh, well, we want to kill some people, and it really doesn't matter you know, because it doesn't have anything to do with us. There's objective good, and there's a good force uh, on this world and after. Um, and, you know, I get signals a lot, um, you know, signals that, that the gang stalkers couldn't, uh, couldn't mess with. Um, I'll, just, I'll just put it that way. I won't go into the details, because it's, it's kind of just for me. You know, things that we see in our world, that, that God's speaking, um, you know, God's speaking through the world to us. You know, they're they're for us. You know, it's for us, and we can. And there's a one light car right there. Kind of not that bad. You know, it's it's a small percentage of cars out of the out of everybody. Like you go out and there's a bunch of cars, and out of all the cars, it's a it's a pretty small percentage. Like I'd say about percent of cars um, with one lights so maybe four percent uh, that I see um, but it's it's it, we see it you know um, there's an empty trailer right there doing a lot of empty trailers today or maybe I'm, I'm just noticing them today but that that's also like the street theater um, you know it, it is like if you take it on a greater scale and like the people who gang stalked me at the mall it wasn't a, like if you took all the people that I saw that day um, it's a pretty small percentage but the the impact of somebody pursing their lips or coughing as they walk by like weird really weird like coughing and really trying to get you to notice them um, you know it kind of it takes you like a human being you're like why is that person messing with me and it takes up more of your time than, than um, you know, a 4%. And there's a one light Jeep right there. If I can get it, I don't think I got it very good in this. You know, pulling into this other lane. Um, I might drive around a little bit more and get a little bit more vehicular stalking. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry about that. Um, I hope you found defenses and things like that. We really are moving forward. There's so many, so many things. Like Robert Duncan's prototype. Go to www.robertduncan.com um, and his prototype for um, stopping V2K. I think
think he's going to get, he's going to be making something better. Um, you know, and, and Dave CD is still working really good, um, working really well. I just did that twice. Dave CD is working really well, um, you know, but it, it has trouble with the V2K, and, you know, I, I haven't been listening to it often, so I've been getting hit harder. They do, it is an object, like, this CD objectively does work. Um, it, it really stops a lot of the remote neural manipulation. The, the energy that they have hooked up to us, um, where they're doing all this stuff and um, kind of messing with our senses, um, you know, uh, doing, doing inner voice stuff or visual cortex things to us, you know, it really, really helps out with a lot of those things. When I, if I don't put aluminum foil around the CD, like I have to put aluminum foil around it and I have to put it in this little uh, kind of aluminum foil hat um, if I don't do that, it, they will make it skip, and I'll feel above it. Like, I can actually feel above the Walkman, and there's heat. There's heat because it's a powerful, like, they actually take their time. They take, they pull beams off of me, like external beams off of me, and there's a one light car right there. They pull external beams off of me and actually hit the, the Walkman to skip it, to make it skip. So, like, they really do do that. Um, they really do. If they're pulling beams off of me to, to go for that, like, it really does work. There's a lot of them today. And the longer I stay out, the longer that they'll, they'll get things together, um, you know, to target me. I guess that's a, that's a pretty fortunate thing for me because I don't really notice the colors. Um, I, I try and back off, and there's a city police. I try and kind of back off from from noticing colors of cars or types of cars because they do do that to me, I think. But there's a black SUV one light. Um, I guess it's a fortunate thing that the one light cars are pretty much all I notice because um, I'm very pulled back from it. Um, it's just not it's it, you know it's not healthy to to really notice very very detailed stuff, guys, because they'll do it more. And it's harder to prove the very, very detailed stuff. So I, I just encourage y'all to uh, try and just notice things that are right in your face, because uh, they'll they'll try and do things that are more in your face if you're not noticing the very detailed things that they do. Um, I know that's hard for us because we we do notice things that even even the the tiniest detail that's changed by them by our our stalkers. It's, it's hard for us not to notice. But I. I just encourage you, and um, you know, I don't know the, the exact way to do this, but to pull off from those very, very detailed things that they do to this and make them do things that are right in your face so then you can go ahead and prove those things. Make them have to come to you. Make them have to come to you more and more, you know. Because a one light vehicle, it's like other people don't notice in society. They're not looking. They've done it so much to me that I've been, um, you know, sensitized to it. But I kind of want to be sensitized to that because it's right up in your face. It's something I can show to another person how much they're doing it, and it really does. People, the, the colors and, you know, uh, maybe even the empty trailers, people wouldn't, I don't think, would, would, would believe. You know, it's, you know we, we do just have to tell the truth. You know, we have to just tell the truth about what we see, um, about, about what these people are doing to us. So, you know, let's, let's kind of let it fly to... Um, but you know, get get good evidence that, that's right up in our face. That's like, wow, this is this is really gang stalking. And I'm not saying colors of cars aren't, because that that is a protocol. It's just I, you know, in my personal situation, I'm doing what I said I wasn't going to do in the last video. Like I'm kind of mincing words and I'm kind of backpedaling on stuff. Um, I do kind of mean to tell y'all what I'm saying, because uh, people believe a one light vehicle more than they do a. Uh, you know different colors but if it but if it's very blatant you know if it's very blatant it's lines of red vehicles or you just see it like everywhere you go um you know that can be used for good. that can be used as good evidence too um i'm probably i'm gonna get a get some sound equipment and and you know really see if i can pick up some of this v2k um some of the sounds around me um you know that they're kind of that they're shooting because they do sound very external. Um, I did want to tell y'all also, I'm coming up to about 15 minutes. I'll go ahead and drive around. 
Aldrog. 